In this video, I would like to demonstrate how SAP screens can be edited interactively in WYSIWYG mode, where WYSIWYG stands for What You See is What You Get. The first step is to log on to the system and call up the transaction to be edited. Before continuing, it is important that GUI XT is activated in the menu. Alternatively, GUI XT can be activated centrally for all users. The paths for script files can also be defined centrally in a file. In our example today, the goal is to improve the usability of VA01, the Create Sales Order Interface. One of the first actions normally required of the user is to enter the order type. For this, the user must either know the appropriate code or search through the list of possible order types. If an organization only uses a small subset of order types, it makes sense to simplify the selection process. We will further streamline order creation by specifying the sales office. To begin, we initiate the script editor and activate the WYSIWYG mode. In the upper left corner of the SAP window, the statement Screen Editing Active confirms that the interactive mode has been activated. By right-clicking the mouse, it is possible to edit the properties of existing elements. The changes are directly written into the script for the current screen. Let's delete the input field for Sales Office and change the arrangement of the remaining elements. The fact that the script window on the right cannot be edited in WYSIWYG mode is indicated by its grey background colour. However, the script can be edited by hand at any point in time by simply deactivating WYSIWYG mode. The next step is to create three radio buttons that when selected will preset an order type and a sales office and automatically fill out the corresponding input field. The editor suggests the relevant input field options, meaning that we only have to select the desired option and assign a value. These radio buttons make it very easy and efficient for users to create standard orders, rush orders, or returns for the sales office of choice. In this example, 's now create a box place it around the buttons
give the box a title, in this case order type. Exit WYSIWYG mode, save, and activate the script. As an alternative to using WYSIWYG mode, we can enter new commands directly in the editor under Script, Insert Command, and by right-clicking on the desired command. In this case, we want to insert a comment. Because we are working directly on the SAP interface, we can immediately proceed to testing the code. By selecting one of the three radio buttons and pressing Enter, the appropriate order with the pre-assigned sales office is created. Let's now simplify the order screen somewhat. By right-clicking directly on the tabs, we can edit the title and the order of the tabs, and also hide or delete tabs. To delete several elements at the same time, draw a frame to select the items. They will become highlighted in red, and then press the Delete key. At the same time, the corresponding commands are inserted in the script on the right. This example illustrates how quickly SAP screens can be customized interactively using the WYSIWYG editor. WYSIWYG mode allows you to immediately test your code and make adjustments where necessary. At the same time, it is possible to make additional changes in your SAP interface by editing the script in interactive mode. As an example of this, we can add a command to the script that adjusts the column size to a width of zero and thereby effectively hides the column with the material description.